Hello everyone, Xiao here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm simply sharing my personal experience setting up and running DeepSeeker 1 with the Intel Arc B580 GPU via Olama. I'll also cover my comparisons of cost effectiveness against OpenAI services. Please note that I'm not providing any advice or instructions, I'm just documenting what worked for me and what I discovered along the way. Before we begin, please read the disclaimer in the video's description. If you've done that, let's get started. I began by installing the latest Intel GPU driver, which I downloaded directly from the Intel website. For your reference, all the links I mention in this video are listed in the description section. I also enabled resizable bar in the BIOS and disabled the integrated GPU in the Windows Device Manager. I then installed Anaconda, a Python distribution, which I downloaded directly from the Anaconda website. Once Anaconda was installed, I opened the Anaconda prompt as an administrator. In the Anaconda prompt, I ran two commands. The first command created a new environment called LLM, specifically for working with language models, and the second command activated the environment. With the Python environment set up, the next step I took was to run the pip command to install IPEXLLM. This package is essential for running Llama.cpp and Olama on Intel GPUs. Once IPEXLLM was installed, I executed the bat file to initialize the Olama instance. To start Olama as a service to accept API calls, I first set several environment variables. Once that was done, I executed the Olama service command to start the service on localhost using port 11434. I used the benchmark data provided by DeepSeek to decide which model size to download. The DeepSeek R1 Distill Quen 14B stood out to me as it struck a great balance between performance and memory requirements, with performance comparable to the O1 Mini model. The default 14B version provided by Olama is 4-bit quantized, with a download size of 9GB. This makes it a perfect fit for the Intel Arc B580 GPU, which has 12 gigabytes of memory. After identifying the suitable option for DeepSeeker 1, I opened a second Anaconda prompt, activated the same environment, and ran the pull command to download the 14B quantized model. Once the download was complete, I ran the model in verbose mode to access evaluation statistics. I used the following prompt to test the reasoning capabilities of DeepSeek R1, outline the steps I should follow to apply sunscreen on my face. This result was purely for my technical experimentation with DeepSeek R1. I did not follow any steps suggested by the language model. In this test, I focused on the evil rate, which refers to the speed at which a language model generates text, measured in tokens per second. Essentially, it indicates how quickly the model can process and produce a response to a given prompt. A higher evil rate means the model generates text faster. The evaluation rate is 28.9 tokens per second, which translates to approximately 1734 tokens per minute. Since 100 tokens roughly equal 75 words, this equates to about 1300.5 words per minute. For comparison, the average adult reads silently at around 238 words per minute, while the average oral reading speed is approximately 183 WPM. This means that for every minute of generated content, it would take an average person about 5.5 to 7 minutes to read or comprehend. This demonstrates that 28.9 tokens per second is more than sufficient for typical usage. In my analysis, I compared the combination of DeepSeek R1, Olama, and the Intel Arc B580 to OpenAI's paid subscription. Looking at OpenAI's pricing structure, I noticed that access to the O1 Mini model, a reasoning model comparable to the DeepSeek R114B, requires a plus subscription or higher. 
This highlighted for me how the DeepSeek R114B model provides competitive performance without the recurring costs of OpenAI's paid tiers. At $20 per month, the yearly subscription fee for OpenAI Plus totals $240. In comparison, the upfront cost for the combination of DeepSeek R1, Olama, and the Intel Arc B580 is just $249, the price of the Intel Arc B580 alone. This makes the combination a compelling choice, as the GPU isn't just limited to LLM inferencing, it can also be used for gaming, CAD applications, and numerous other tasks. For me, it's an obvious decision. From my analysis, I also looked into the cost differences related to API calls. For the O1 Mini model, OpenAI charges $12 for every 1 million output tokens. While 1 million tokens may seem like a lot, applications like agent-based systems can consume millions of tokens, making the expenses add up significantly. From my analysis, I compared a scenario assuming no input time and that the local DeepSeek R1 running on the ArcB580 generates output tokens continuously. The theoretical output is 2,496,960 tokens per day. At O1 Mini's rate, this translates to a saving of $29.96 per day, or $10,936.68 per year, though both figures are theoretical. While these numbers are theoretical and may not fully reflect real-world applications, the initial $249 upfront cost still seems highly worthwhile to me, absolutely worth it. This is the system I use to conduct my tests. If you're interested in building a similar setup and have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And that's a wrap. From my personal experience, setting up DeepSeeker 1 with an Intel Arc B580 GPU proved to be both cost-effective and capable of delivering excellent performance. When I factored in the savings from not relying on OpenAI services, this setup felt even more worthwhile. For me, it's been a powerful, flexible, and affordable option for AI research, development, and exploring new possibilities. Thank you for following along with my journey. If you have any questions about my experience, feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support encourages me to keep sharing insights like this. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.